In Xcode, I'm setting up a new single view app. I'm going to name this uh, Movies Table View Controller, and we'll save that. I'm going to set this up to just be portrait orientation. And in our navigator, we have our view controller and our storyboard. I'm going to add a new file. And I want this file to be a Swift file. This will be on my model or my data file. And I'm simply going to call it movie.swift. In Microsoft Word, I have that class template that we created uh, sometime earlier in the semester. I'm just going to paste that in. It just gives me my comment headings for my class variables, the initializers, and class methods. So we're going to create our data model. We want a title, which is going to be a type string. I want to know the year that the movie was released. That will be an integer. We'll have the director. And then I want the genre. And for the genre, I'm going to set up uh, an enum or enumeration. So we'll come here to the, towards the top and create an enumer enumeration named genre. It's going to be of type string. I'm going to add some raw data here because I can't put in things like slashes or hyphens, but I might want to display it that way. The variable genre is going to be of type genre. I also want a variable rating, and I'm going to do an enum for that as well, but this will be of type rating. So we'll create another enum. The last thing I want as part of my data model is going to be the cast, and we'll have the cast be an array of type string. I'm going to add an initializer to create the records of my database. And there is the completed initializer. We're going to have some protocols to our model. I'm going to go back up to the class designation. Uh, we want to change that student that I pasted in to be movie. And I'm going to add a colon after that. And the first protocol I'm going to implement is going to be the custom string convertible. Not a very descriptive name. But this allows us to add a variable for the description in which we'll return a string. I'm also going to add a protocol, protocol for equatable, which allows me to compare two objects in our data model, see if they are the same and a comparable protocol, which will allow me to sort the data. By the way, if you're going to use a comparable protocol, you must also use the equatable. Uh, you can use the equatable without the comparable, but not the other way around. So right now we're getting a warning saying the movie doesn't conform to our protocols, so we have to uh, meet the standards of those protocols. And I'm going to do that by going down to the class methods. So to implement the protocol for custom string convertible, I'm going to create a variable called description. It's going to return a string, and we'll return a literal string, which I'm going to interpolate, first of all, the title. Square bracket, we'll interpolate the year. Closing square bracket is a, I want a space between the bracket and is, is a, I'm going to put in the genre, movie, 
comma directed by. So I'm going to interpolate the director. And is rated, and we'll interpolate the rating. My period and a closing quote, and there is our return string. So in my controller, then I can reference a movie object and ask for its description, and it's going to return a string that says the name of the movie with the year in square brackets is a movie of type genre directed by and rated as this rating. So that implements the protocol of custom string convertible. Now I need to implement the protocol for our equatable protocol. And this is going to be a static function. And for equatable, we are using the equals operator. And we're going to pass it to movie objects. We'll call one the left hand side. and the other one the right hand side. And this is going to return a type of Boolean. I want to look at two movies and see if they are the same title and the same year. And I want to incorporate the year because sometimes movies are remade. In the data that we're going to use here, we're going to have two movies that have been remade. One is The Man Who Knew Too Much and one is True Grit. And I want to be able to compare those objects and make sure that they truly are different. So we're going to what we're going to return is the left hand side movie dot title is equivalent to the right hand side movie dot title, and if the years are the same, so left hand side dot year equals right hand side dot year. Those are both the same, will return true. If they're not, it'll return false. And then our last pro protocol is the comparable. And all we need to do here is create the less than operator. And again, we're going to use left hand side movie. As one parameter and the right hand side movie as a parameter, and it also is going to return a Boolean value. And again, I want to compare both the title and the year so that while we're alphabetizing the title, the oldest year of a particular movie will come before a remake of that movie in our listing. So again, I'll use the title of the movie, and I'm going to concatenate to that the string version. Of the left hand side here. Less than and we'll do the right hand side the same thing. So right hand side title plus string version of the right hand side year. I don't need to specify a greater than or less than equal to or greater than equal to. Xcode and Swift are actually smart enough to figure those out based on what I've provided here. Then we'll implement the comparable protocol. The next step now will be to create our table view controller.